<laughs> I look so crazy. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to sleep with long box braids or any length kind of braids, faux locks, twists, all that kind of stuff. If you guys want to know how to sleep with your braids too, then keep on watching. Okay, so if you came here, this might be your first time that you did box braids or the first time that you've done really long ones or you've never known how to really sleep with your braids, I'm going to show you all the different kind of ways that you guys can do that and sleep super comfortably even with your uncomfortable long hair. I'm Angelica aka Angie B and if you guys are new to this channel, welcome, so glad to have you here. Please consider subscribing as you're watching this video if you like any of this and would like more of this kind of content. Also hit the thumbs up button whenever you decide that you like this video because that will tell me and youtube that you like this kind of content and also make sure to hit the bell icon which is also linked right down there right next to the subscribe button and that ensures that you guys get notifications every single time i post a video and you continue to learn more of this kind of beautiful stuff i'm always sharing so getting straight into the video i'm sure you guys want to know how the hell do you sleep with these long braids this is how long my braids are they're super long. I always get long braids. I love long braids. They are, they are about to my hip. If I walk back, you can see. I decided to do this in my gown because why not? We're supposed to be going to sleep. So that's how long my braids are. Okay, so this first way is for all you people who have medium length to short hair and you can't do the standard way that I usually do it. I get lots of questions even in my last video about how I sleep with braids like, oh, what if my braids are short? I can't do what you're showing me, those kind of braids. What should I do? In this video, I'm going to show you. Now, I can't do a great job of demonstrating because of course my braids are super long, but you're just going to have to imagine they're short. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to get your hair sort of parted in the middle. And by the way, if you can't do this with your hair, if you just braided it, your braids are too tight because choose whatever the best direction is according to how your braids were done and that's how you're going to wrap the hair. So if it's like a side part, that's the direction you're going to wrap your hair. If it's a middle part, that's the direction you're going to pass you're going to wrap your hair. If you can't move your hair at all, it's too tight. So watch my other video on how to loosen tight braids after this video if you want to know how to do that. So basically what you're going to do is this. You're going to get your hair down whichever section it's braided in. Then you get the back and twist over like this. And now for you, if your braids are short or medium length, this might be the end of your braids. This might be like where they've reached. So you're just going to want to sort of do something like that. And then as your hair is like this, you will pick up your bonnet. This is the kind of one I use. And then you put it on from the back. This is difficult because my braids are long, <laughs> but let's try that again. Okay, so something like this. So my braids are long, so like the long pieces are falling out, but you just get the little short parts, sort of wrap them, put them in the hat, and then you just wear it over and all your braids, <laughs> I look so crazy. <laughs> all your braids are going to stay in place. They won't move around and because they won't be moving while you're sleeping, you're going to feel really comfortable as you sleep because they're just all going to be in one place. Some people like to put their hair like in the top knot in a bun. I always have long braids, so I do not do that because I feel like there's a big heavy weight on the top of my head and when I'm turning and when I'm sleeping, it's like I can't lift my head. So I never put my head in a bun, not to mention it puts stretches on your edges. It puts stress on your edges all around your hairline. So I would suggest not doing that. But if you don't have a bonnet and the only option you have is like a silk or a satin scarf, I'm going to show you how I do it. So you are going to take your favorite scarf made out of silk or satin. Do not use cotton because it will absorb all the moisture out of your hair. You want to make sure you use silk or satin, but if you're stuck and that's all you have, you better go ahead and use that because it's better than being uncomfortable. So you take your scarf like this, just wrap it over, take it underneath your hair, Now 
and you're going to tie it and don't tie it too tight just tie it to the point where you feel like all your braids are squished together you can feel them in one place then you tie over if your scarf is short then you just tie it at the back okay so you do this and for most people this is very comfortable enough your hair is going to be like this so you're just going to lift this like this and you put it over your pillow so that the hair is not on your back or if you don't mind the hair being on your back you can put it on your back i personally find that very itchy and i don't like it but the reason why i'm recommending it to you is because i have friends who do this method and they say it works really well they really enjoy they don't have any problems when they're sleeping so i thought i would share that with you but for me mm -mm, this is not my way and if you know my channel then you know this is not how i sleep with my braids thumbs up if you like this video so far and let's get straight into this tip now the best way the best way of all of them according to me is this one first of all you're going to need a hair tie i prefer these ones that look like a little telephone wire and the reason is i don't have to tie my hair tight with these because of the way it's wrapped around the hair just sort of gets caught in between once i do something like this so i don't have to tie it tight and worry about tension and this is what i do I divide my hair in half like this it's already in half like I said I always braid my hair like this I put it together divide it in half then at the back I twist over like this you guys can see that then I do one little twist like this then I bring it forward like this don't worry if there's any little hairs hanging out you can always just wrap them around so twist the hair like this at the top of my head nice and flat then I get this little telephone wire thing and I twist it once then for the second time I fold the hair over and you look like you've got like a little hat, like a little genie kind of situation. And this is what it looks like all the way around. Then I go ahead and put on my bonnet on top. The reason why I like this kind of a bonnet is because this flat part helps my edges not get frizzy. And this is the number one, number one most comfortable way to sleep with your hair. Like, can you see that? Evenness all around. Very even. It is soft. My hair is all together. I can sleep in any direction. And yes, my braids are never that tight that I can do this on the first day. I just finished braiding this hair about an hour ago. So I take it down and by, by the way, this hairstyle also prevents the least amount of frizz because your hair has barely any friction. It's not rubbing together. It's not rolling over anything. It's not rolling over anything. And now I'm going to give you guys a little bonus tip to prevent frizz and make sure that your hair is nice and comfortable when you're sleeping is sleep with a silk or satin pillowcase as well because as you turn while you're sleeping, as you're gliding along the pillow, it is going to be so much easier for you to move you won't be like getting stuck although that's not really always possible with like a cotton pillowcase but i'm just saying it's so much easier and softer if you sleep on a silk and satin pillowcase also sleep on a softer pillow if you like high pillows you can still get a high one but that's just sort of soft so that when your hair leans against it it's not pushing like the braids against your scalp really hard or anything and just prevent that pain so yes that is definitely my favorite way to sleep with box braids if you guys would like any other videos to do with box braids or natural hair or anything of the sort you can click on the ones on the side of the screen here hit the subscribe button if you didn't at the beginning hit the thumbs up follow me on my social media and all the information you need as far as where i get everything is listed in the description box below so please let me know and you guys please comment is there any other way that you guys sleep with your box braids that you'd like to share 
share with us please comment in the comment section below i reply to all my comments and i would love to know thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one